Welcome to another episode of Loyal TV. We're in Tishomingo, Oklahoma, part of the eight county Texoma region. The city is a quaint college town with a rich history in Southern Oklahoma. But more significantly, Tishomingo envelops the beating heart of the Chickasaw Nation, pumping lifeblood into the community for more than a century. This is the story of the Chickasaw National Capitol Building. Journey back to 1898 and the beginning of the Progressive Era. Many Americans are looking to move the country forward. And our first Americans are no different in their desires as they work tirelessly to maintain their sovereign independence. Governor Robert M. Harris and leaders in the Chickasaw Nation want to build an impressive capital, one which represents the perseverance and determination of their tribe. Harris proposes a massive Romanesque style building constructed of granite. Construction on the stately structure overlooking the city began in April, 1898. It was erected using red granite from Governor Harris's own Pennington Creek Quarry. The giant slabs, nearly 200 pounds in weight, were hauled to the site using horses and mules. Completed in only seven months for more than $15,000, the Victorian Gothic style building spreads over 8,000 square feet. It was dedicated on November 17, 1898, and Douglas H. Johnston became the first Chickasaw governor to hold office in the new capital. The red granite structure was, in fact, the third capital for the Chickasaw Nation. There was originally a small one-room council house built with logs in 1855, then a two-story brick building built in 1858. Soon enough, life and leadership begins to flow through the corridors and into each room of the new capital. This included a substantial upstairs courtroom, as well as a generous downstairs, where the governor, the national treasurer, the national secretary, and the entire Chickasaw government operated as leaders for the community. The Dawes Commission, which was preparing to divide tribal lands into individual allotments, was also located in the new capital. This edifice would be a lasting legacy to honor its people. However, during this time of the early 1900s, the federal government began the proposed dissolution of tribal governments, passing both the Dawes and Curtis Acts. In 1907, Oklahoma becomes the newest state of the Union, and the Chickasaws are forced to vacate their capital. Amazingly, the building sat unused for a full three years until it was sold to Johnston County for half of its original value. For almost a century, the building continued to operate under the control of the state, but it certainly never left the hearts and minds of the Chickasaw people. And in the 1960s, tribal governor Overton James and the Chickasaw Nation began negotiations in earnest to buy back the historic building. Flash forward to 1992, and through the leadership of Governor Bill Anatubby, Tribal ownership of the stately Capitol building was reclaimed for the sum of $575,000. Today, as part of the National Register of Historic Places, every red granite stone in this capital is a reminder of those Chickasaws who fought bravely for their tribal identity and independence, and who now move forward in a new century, united. Next week, join us for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard only on Loyal TV.